This is part 20 of jQuery tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to convert a .NET object to a JSON string and a JSON string to a .NET object. In .NET, we have got a class called JavaScript Serializer. This class is present in system.web.script.serialization namespace. This class has got the serialize method which is going to convert a .NET object to a JSON string. Let's understand this with an example. We'll be using this employee class in this demo. Notice this class has got four public properties, first name, last name, gender, and salary. First, let's create this employee class. Let's flip to Visual Studio. To this project, let's add a new class file. And let's name this employee.cs. And in the interest of time, I have already typed all these four public properties in a notepad. So let's copy them and paste within the employee class. So we have got the employee class with the four public properties. And I have also added this webform onesaspx to our project, so let's get to the code behind file. So within the page load event, let's create two instances of this employee class. So we want to create two instances like this. Look at that, we are populating all the properties of the employee class. Again, in the interest of time, I have typed the code required to create these two employee objects. So let's copy that from the notepad and paste it within the page load event of our code behind file. So we have created two employee objects. Now let's go ahead and create a list of employee. So list of employee, and let's call this list employee equals new list of employee. And to the list, let's add the two employee objects that we have created. So we want to add employee one and employee two. All right, now we want to convert this list of employees to a JSON string. And to do that, we're going to make use of JavaScript serializer class. And this class is present in system dot web dot script dot serialization namespace. So now let's go ahead and create an instance of our JavaScript serializer class. And let's call the instance also JavaScript serializer equals new JavaScript serializer. And this class has got serialize method, which is going to convert a .NET object to a JSON string. And to this serialize method, we are going to pass our list of employee object. So this list at the moment contains two employee objects, and we want both the employee objects, which are .NET objects, to be converted to a JSON string. And if you look at the serialize method, look at what it is returning back. It's actually returning a string back, which is nothing but our JSON string. So let's store that in a variable of type string, and let's call it JSON string. And finally, let's write the value that is present within the JSON string to a web page. So let's pass JSON string to the response.write method. Let's go ahead and run this page. So the two employee objects, which are .NET objects, should be converted to a JSON string. Look at that. We get the JSON string back. OK, so now let's see how to do the opposite. Let's see how to convert this JSON string to a .NET object. So to convert a JSON string to a .NET object, we use the same class, which is JavaScript Serializer. But this class has got another method, which is deserialize. So this method is going to convert a JSON string to a .NET object. So let's see how to do that. So I have copied this JSON string. And if you look at the JSON string that we have just copied, we have got a lot of double quotes within that. Now, within C Sharp, double quotes have got a special meaning. So let's create a string variable first. And let's call this JSON string equals. So double quotes in C Sharp indicates the beginning and end of a string. And if you look at this JSON string, it already has double quotes. But those are part of that string. So we don't want that to be treated as a beginning or end of the string. So we need to escape that. So let's replace all double quotes with backslash double quote. So we want to escape those uh, double quotes. So Control-H, 
and then I want to replace double quote with backslash double quote. So replace all instances. So I'm going to copy this string and paste it within our Visual Studio. Okay. So the first double quote here indicates the beginning of our JSON string and the last double quote indicates the end of the string. Whatever double quotes we have here are part of the string because they are preceded by a backslash. So we are escaping that backslash, I mean double quote. So we have our JSON string now. Now we want to convert this JSON string to a .NET object. We know that this JSON string contains you know, two employee objects. So we want to construct a list of employee objects uh, you know, using this JSON string. And for that, we are going to make use of, uh, you know, the deserialize method of the JavaScript serialize, uh, serializer class. So let's create an instance of this JavaScript serializer class. And we are going to use deserialize method. Okay. Uh, and if you look at this deserialize method, it has got two parameters. The first parameter is the input string. So let's pass our JSON string as an input parameter. And there is a second parameter as well. We have to specify the type of the resulting object. So this JSON string will be converted to a .NET object. So we have to specify what is the type of that .NET object going to be. In our case, it's going to be list of employee. So list of employee and you know, we need to get the type of that. So we need to use type of keyword. So type of list of employee. And look at what the what this deserialize method is returning. It's returning an object back. So we know that it is actually returning a list of employee back. So we need to typecast that to be of that type list of employee and let's store that in a variable of that type and let's call it list employee okay so now this list will contain the two employee objects that is the dotnet objects now let's go ahead and loop through each employee object within that um, list and then print out the values of first name last name gender and uh, salary so Let's use a for each loop for each. We know that in the list we have an employee object. So for each employee in list employee. So response.write. We want to write you know, the property name, first name equals. And to that, let's append employee.firstName and an HTML break so we get each property value on a separate line. So let's make three more copies of this. And next we want to get last name, gender, and finally salary. And then let's retrieve the respective properties. So last name, gender, and salary. OK, now we have got two employee objects. So for this last property, you know, let's include the HTML breaks. OK, so let's save those changes and read on the page. Look at that. We get both the employee objects back, and we are retrieving first name, last name, gender, and salary property values. So serialize method is going to convert a .NET object to a JSON string, whereas the deserialize method is going to convert a JSON string to a .NET object. And these methods belong to JavaScript serializer class. And this class is present in system.web.script.serialization namespace. Thank you for listening, and have a great day.